Okay, so an introduction to systems of equations. Um, this is just building off of what we've learned thus far about linear equations. Um, and we're going to focus on not only an introduction, but um, graphing as well. So make sure you're using your notes pages um, that go in your notebook while you're following along with this. And if you'd like to look at anything referenced to the textbook, um, this does come from section 6.1, chapter 6, section 1 um, in our Holt textbook. Um, so first off, definition of what a system of equations actually is. Um, a system of equations is just a set of two or more equations containing two or more variables joined with, I'm going to get my highlighter out, joined with a bracket. So this bracket, what it looks like, and you may want to add some color to your notes when you're putting in these terms and highlighting here, um, but the bracket is just showing that they're they're joined together, that they were considering both equations at the same time. So in this case, we have two equations that you should be familiar with their format. Um, they're both in slope intercept form, but a system of equations can be any kinds of equations together. And it doesn't just have to be two of them, but um, two or more. So when we talk about a system of equations, what we're looking for for this system is a solution. Now, when we talk about solutions in general, solutions to, say, this equation could be, its solutions would be any pair of x, comma, y, any pair of x and y that make the equation true. So, for instance, if I plugged in 5 for x, the y value would have to be 3 because 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Um, plugging in those values 5 and 3 would give me a true statement. So solutions to individual equations, remember, are these points. And when we look at the points, they end up being all the points that are on this line. So there's, for instance, 0.5 comma 3. Um, and I'm just looking at that first equation as your example. So solutions of an individual equation, we've done a lot. Now, when we talk about a solution of a system, the solutions are any order pair that satisfies each equation in the system. So it's important that we say that we underline this each. And what each is really meaning is it's meaning both equations at the same time. Um, so it's an, an ordered pair that satisfies each equation. So we just looked at, for instance, the point 5 comma 3 is a point that satisfies the first equation, um, meaning it makes the equation true. Now, is that the same point if I plug that into the second equation? So if I say 3 for the y value, 5 for the x value, negative 10 plus 7, 3, and negative 10 plus 7 is negative 3. So 3 does not equal to negative 3. So that is not a solution for both equations. This is a solution for one, but not a solution for both. So how are we going to see the solutions for both equations? Well, how we're going to have to do it is looking at it visually. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm graphing here the line y equals x minus 2. Now, I can't use a ruler. So I'm going to have to put, I'm putting lots of points on my line to make sure that I'm graphing the line correctly. But what I put in these points here is these are all points that would satisfy this equation, the first equation, y equals x minus 2. So y equals x minus 2. On the same axes, I'm going to put the second equation too. The points that would satisfy the second equation, so if I go to the y-intercept, so 2, 4, 6, 7, and then I use my slope of negative 2, the points I'm putting on the graph and the line I'll eventually draw are all points that satisfy the second equation. And I probably should have used a second color, to be honest here, but that's okay. So here are all the points that satisfy my second equation, y equals negative 2x plus 7. So when I'm looking at the solution now, the point that satisfies the point, or an ordered pair that satisfies both equations, what I'm really looking for, and you may want to write this in a different 
um, color or highlight or whatever. What I'm looking for is the intersection point. I'm looking for where do these two lines end up meeting. So the solutions are your intersection point. Because this is the point, the point on the first line, that also satisfies the points, the solutions for the second line. So if I plug that value in, and so our solution is 3 comma 1. If I look at that point now and I plug it into both equations, 1 equals, so I'm going to do the first equation here, 1 equals 1, that's a check. And then I plug it into the second equation, so I plug in 1 for y and 3 for x, 1 equals negative 6 plus 7, 1, and that would equal to 1. So that is a solution because it works for both equations. And as we can see from our graph, there's really only one point that works for both equations. So the solution is the intersection point. So when it comes to solving a system of equations, this is one of the possible methods for, for solving a system. And it's called solving a system by graphing. So on the second page here, we have an example and we're going to go through kind of step by step exactly what you would want to do in order to solve a system of equations by graphing. So step one, you're going to fill in, solve each equation for y. Now, why would we do that? It's to get the equations in slope intercept form. So if I take my system and I'm going to consider my equations one at a time, 4y minus x equals 16. I'm going to get y alone. So I'm going to add x to both sides, and then I'm going to divide everything by 4. y equals, and remember there's this 1 in front of the x, so it would be 1 fourth x, divide both terms, plus 4. So my first equation is in slope-intercept form. Now my second equation, if I notice, is already solved for y, so I'm good to go. So I want to take each equation individually. I'm going to put the bracket back out there and turn them both into slope intercept form. Step two is to graph all equations, in this case we only have two, on the same axes. So I turned it into slope intercept form. The purpose was so now I have an easy equation to graph. So if I graph my first equation, my y intercept is four, and my slope is up one to the right four or down one to the left four. So there's my first line. Now I'm going to change color to be my second line. My second line has a y-intercept of negative 1 and a slope of up 3 over 2, up 3 over 2, or down 3 left 2. And there's my line. Step three, look for the point of intersection. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this. My point of intersection, step three, is that my point of intersection, oh, but sorry, I don't want to highlight or I want a pen. My point of intersection is, and this would be four comma, Five is my point of intersection. So that would be my solution. My solution to the system is the point that satisfies both equations. So at this point, I found the solution. But step four, I want to make sure this is the solution and to check to see if it's a solution. How do you verify that a point is a solution to a system of equations is to plug the values in. So I'm going to take my first equation, plug in my point, and I'm going to take my second equation and plug in my point. So my y value is 5, my x value is 4. Notice I use parentheses to plug in when you're substituting in. You should always use your parentheses. So that's 20 minus 4 is 16. That's a true statement, so I'm going to check that one off. 
second equation, plug in my x value and my y value. 5 minus 3 halves times 4 is 12 over 2, which is 6. So 5 equals 6 minus 1. That'd be a true statement. So yes, it point works for both equations. So yes, it is a solution to the system. We'll continue this and talk about different numbers of solutions. Um, you maybe want to think about that going into tomorrow.